Hello, today we're taking a look at PC Remote Control App. This is an Android remote desktop application that allows you to control your computer over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on your mobile device, so be it a tablet or a phone. You can do things like mouse remote control, keyboard remote control, even real-time PC displayed in the pro version of this app, which we're taking a look at today, file explorer for managing files, uh, all of that and more. But first off, let's talk about how you connect to the actual application and start controlling your PC. First off, of course, install the app on the device of your choice, then head over to your PC that you want to control and head over to the appmedia.com slash PC dash remote dash control. And from there, scroll to the very bottom and download the server software here. Keep in mind it's available for Windows, Linux, and even Mac. After you install this, it's a Java file. It's gonna actually pop up in the bottom right here. You'll see this little blue icon, the remote IT server. If you right click on that, you have the ability to set a password by default, it's remote, so keep that in mind. You can then get information regarding your Wi-Fi server and Bluetooth server here. In this case, I wanna connect through Wi-Fi, so you'll see I wanna get this information right here. To establish a connection, you can either click on this icon right here or head over to the top left and click on connections and add a connection. As you can see here, I already have mine established. But to add it, you'd click the plus button, select your connection type. In this case, let's say I want to go through Bluetooth. Then it would ask me this information right here, uh, name, password, address. Let's say I want to go through Wi-Fi, then I can click on the plus button here, click on Wi-Fi. The same thing in this case is going to ask me for a IP address, password, and port. Again, just match that up with the server software. And after that, after you've established the connection here, uh, just go ahead and open anything and the application will send a request over to the desktop. So I'm going to click on, for example, the VLC, VLC controls here. If you have VLC, you can actually use this to control your media controls. So you can see here, I can easily start to play, pause, fast forward, or stop a video. Uh, other things like the file explorer, for example, so you can see it's connected to my PC's drives here. I can then begin to navigate through all these. So you can see I can open any of these folders here. And if I click on one, it'll go ahead and open it here and then I can click on a specific file. And again, it'll open it on the actual PC if I have it here. So let's see, if I click on this JPEG, you'll see it'll open up here on my actual computer and I can actually view it there. Very simple and easy. So that's the file explorer. Of course, you have a ton of other things like presentation controls for PowerPoint. You have the ability to hit shortcuts here, like cut, copy, and paste here. So you have all of those very easily. You'll notice the interface is just super simple to use. You just click on any, anything and it fans out here. Browser controls to bookmark, save, or even print a page and or refresh a page. Very convenient as well as you're kind of browsing from afar. Uh, really great to use on like a home theater PC or what have you because this acts as the remote really. You can control a lot of things and of course the mouse control. So since I have PC capture here, you can see I can actually see my desktop being displayed right here and I move the mouse around and I'll follow it along here. That's how great and easy it is. You can see how fluid that is. It's showing me here on my actual tablet and this is because I'm on the PC remote control pro version. Of course, you can enable or disable that within the settings if you head to the bottom and enable screen capture. Otherwise, you would get just the basic mouse controls, which is also convenient here. You can see I just tap on my screen and I can actually tap on it like this. I tap and drag to control the mouse as so. I can tap on any window to activate it. And of course, you have the ability to left right click here and click on that keyboard pop out and start typing random letters. And as you can see here, it displays it very, very simply. And then, you know, again, really, really efficiently there. There's barely uh, any lag at all. So all of that said, this is PC Remote Control. It is a really great application for Android. Again, it works on a tablet or works on a mobile phone. Definitely worth checking out. You can find it in the Google Play Store today.